edition of Ask Dr. Robin. I'm Dr. Robin Silverman, child and teen development expert and the creator of the Powerful Words Character System. Today's letter is from Gideon and Ruth in London who write, Dear Dr. Robin, one of our children is a glass half full kind of a person, always looking on the sunny side of every situation. But our other child always seems to have a rain cloud over his head. He's very negative. How can I help him to see more positively? Well, thank you, Gideon and Ruth. As we know from years of research, optimism has enormous benefits for attitude and health. Fortunately, optimism can be taught and instilled in children. So here are some tips you can use right away. Help them to remember that failure is temporary. When a project goes wrong, help your children to stay clear of absolutes like, I never get anything right and this always happens. Validate their feelings and help them to decipher what went wrong, but also remind them that they've had many successes in their lives and many more will come. Next, nix the label. Stay clear of labeling your children as negative or pessimistic or things of that nature. Labels can leave a child boxed in and can interfere with their self-concept. Especially when labels carry a negative connotation, they can inadvertently encourage the behavior you're trying to extinguish. Children tend to live up to the expectations you set, so be careful for not creating a self-fulfilling prophecy. Next, highlight the silver lining. Many frustrating situations can be seen in a positive light if you look for it. For example, when a child is upset and won't know anybody at a new school, talk about the opportunity to make new friends. Or a rainy day might mean he can't play outside, but he might have a chance to bake with mom or dad. Train your child to try and find the sunny side of a problem. Next, refrain from overpraising. Everything our children do is not fantastic. When we overpraise, we rob our children of genuine, well-deserved praise that comes when effort and results align. Real praise has real meaning. Undeserved praise feels empty and makes children feel untrusting. Finally, give credit when credit is due. When your child has done something well, sincerely recognize and praise them and what helped them get there. Was it their commitment, character, persistence? Let them know that you've noticed and that you're impressed. Keep using these tips. It takes a lot of time to create a habit of optimism. That's all for this edition of Ask Dr. Robin. Please continue to send in your questions and it may be featured next time. In the meantime, I hope you make it a very powerful month. Goodbye, everyone.